shapes. I'm going to say Mandingo. Mandingo. <laughs> Mandingo. <laughs> I got I got penis envy. Sometimes I like it in the butt. Sometimes I don't. Speaking of envy, NVE, baby, tomorrow. NVE. Yeah. We're gonna all be hanging out tomorrow. Hell yeah. Oh. East Coast chilling, man. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to it, but I have a little bit of apprehension bringing Mark wow. in public places. Uh-huh. Better be on time. Have everything ready. I don't want any issues, any slowdowns. Oh man, it we're... is what it is. Come on, Noah, we're always on time. That's what we do. Good evening, everybody in chat. I'd like to say hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. This is the pre ignition, pre ejaculation. Yes. Mark, are you going to be selling wares out of your backpack tomorrow or Saturday? Yes. Good. I'm selling a lot of things out of my backpack. Good. Pretty much anything you need, I'll have. Actually, I bought a little. It's kind of like a. What's fanny you, pack? Kind of like a fanny pack, kind of not. Dude, I was walking through the mall today, and there were so many people wearing fanny packs. They What's are it? back in. What is it called? A purse? It's kind of like a. It's a small. It's small like a change purse, like a rubber handbag for holding your Which rubbers. Don't, you don't wear it on your waist. You wear it around your like show. I don't know. It's confusing, but I will be sporting a fucking fanny pack. Hmm. So suck it up and enjoy it. Cause what the fuck did I just do? Fanny packs <sighs> are back in stock or back in style. Hmm. Oh man. Yes, I will be selling blues out of my book bag, too. Overpriced blues. Yep, straight from blue. Mark's going to be a blue rep at the show. He'll yep. have a little blue name tag on his shirt. I have blue shirts, blue hats. Yeah, Jake from Maine said that it's it's called a Merce. Well, a Merce is bigger. This is like a little, it's like a change purse for a man. So that'd be like a, I don't know what that would be. Mark's, change purse. Mark's going to be wearing a saddlebag because he had to get two of those fucking things and he's going to have one on each hip. It's the perfect size for a bottle of water, a mod, and maybe some rubbers. All right, a fanny pack. Yeah, but you don't wear it around your waist. It's like a side fanny pack. Like Why don't you a, just get a, a book, a backpack? That's too big. It weighs you down. <laughs> you don't want that. A small, they got small backpacks. All right. Like a, it's a hippie pack. Let's, a kitty one. We'll get into more detail about this after we do the 20 minute intro. Let's, All right. let's begin. Gay is gay. That is true. Actually, gay is the way. So. See that June even says men don't have change purses. Well, Greg be the first one. Greg right. said that it's a bustle. Shannon's husband's telling me what's up. I'm wearing the bra too tomorrow, so. Uh. Classic suit so said it's called a bustle. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't wait. I got it. Ignition. We are live. Live, 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 live. Live, live, live. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Vape Team, the motherfucking great team. It is Thursday night, and we are back at it. Cloudy Entertainment for that S. Uh-huh. Uh, with me, as always, we have very, very, very special guests with us this evening. But before I introduce him, I'd like to introduce somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> the man with the master plan, the matchstick man, Mr. Matchy Matchy, the Greek god of modern vaping, King hit that shit. Mikey, the iron lung, motherfucking vapes. Good evening, Greg, <laughs> Sid, Carlos. Good evening, Carlos. Chat. Good evening. 
We also have a special guest with us this evening who's wearing a red Nike hat. And he's drinking a Gatorade with Metamucil. There is no Metamucil in this one, but I should actually put some in there. Yeah. Thank you. Mark. <laughs> Mark. Yes. Hey, everybody. Thank you, Mark. Please hand me the So, let's talk about the purse. Yes. Like, Bring it down, Mark. So, so do you have... Mark, where, you got... You said a small little bag thingy where you could fit, like, two or three things in it. That's usually what women use when they go to, like, weddings. They yeah, it's like a makeup little purse. tiny purses. So, you got yourself a little mini purse. Yeah, mini purse. There you go. Is it... I got, is so it I got a full-size purse that I sometimes use, but it's too heavy. So, now I got a little mini-size purse. Is it bedazzled? It's not bedazzled, but... Anything can happen overnight, so I might cover it in like glitter and put little unicorns on it, little penises. Why don't you just show it to us? Where is it at? Hold yeah, on. where is it? Get you a fucking purse, dude. I'm always afraid when I see him in white like soccer shorts. I just feel like when he bends over to pick something up, there might be a stain. I don't oh, know. God, call me crazy. Oh, it's a stain. <laughs> That's what I mean. White is not his color. It hasn't come through the other side yet. No. <clears throat> called a fupa. No, the fupa is the front upper pussy area. Someone says show fupa. this. Everyone's gonna go out, buy one, and they're gonna copy me. I no, know. I don't think so. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. It just makes me look professional. No, it makes you look like a fucking a woman. I could, I could do this. I could put it way in the back. It'd be really cool. Or I could put it on the front. It'd look like a woman. Like a pregnant fat woman. Uh, I'm ready. I want to wear this tonight. Fuck it. I'm what do you still... got in there right now? Yeah, what no. is in there? I'm going to put my Gatorade bottle in here. Right what now. brand is it, Chanel? Uh, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it was on sale for 20 bucks, so... You got a satchel. Yeah, that's what Dylan Mixon said, a satchel. Looks Gatorade like you're bottle. in France. Look it's at a purse. This. People are saying it's a purse. Uh, Jude Shadid said it's a clutch. I think a clutch is a female name for one of those bags. It's a triple XL fanny pack. It's a dildo holder. Well, you, yeah, you look like a homosexual tor- tourist. Need a drink? Mmm, thank you. Mm. Can you hold this for me? Sure, no problem. Elba thank- Shake said that you look like a carjacker from Birmingham. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's gangsta. Like that. I keep my tools in here. Yep. Wow. Mike and Brian are both going to have one of these this weekend, I guarantee it. Uh, no, we're not, actually. Mike and I have uh, something called a... <clears throat> sling bags. A sling backpacks. bag. We have sling backpacks. Is that that big thing that goes across your chest? Nope, it goes on your back. Yes. A backpack. Yeah, backpacks. It's like a backpack, but it's a sling because it slings over your shoulder, and it's more masculine. Yes. So it's a book bag with one strap. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes it is. Nice. Those are kind of like played out. They kind of out of stock. No, they're tr- yours, Brian? They're, yes, they're, it came in the mail yesterday, Mike, and it's super trendy. Where is it? Do you want me to grab it? I'll grab it. Grab yours. Sorry. All right, uh, we're gonna. Sh- it's a it's a purse parade tonight, so, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do the buffets. Okay. We have the buffets yet. Yes. Right. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow. We're showing off our fucking purses. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking purse parade. Uh, well, you know you gotta get jealous when you see this one, right, Mark? Uh, I don't know. I and guess there's no way you could purchase one tonight and have it tomorrow. I could find a 24-hour Walmart. <laughs> you probably could find them at Walmart. They probably sell them. <laughs> oh man, uh, a manly mer- version of Marks? Huh? Oh, okay, the one that I guess uh, Brian's gonna show. I, I gotta get my other one then. Fuck it. Do none of you have pockets in your pants? Yes, we have cell phones, wallets. Cash inside the pockets. Then we're gonna have we got like two or three mods. All of our e-liquids, our batteries, stuff like that that we carry with us. Can't put them all in your pockets. No way. Well, I usually have my regular bags that I bring with me. I don't this, even know. If, this is my OG one, but it's a little too heavy. No, that's look at this purse he's got. He's got a fucking extra large purse there. Yeah, see, that's too big and heavy for me. So I had to downsize. <laughs> Oh, where, did, where the hell did Brian go to get this? His oh, there he is. <sighs> Sorry, that took so long. The elevator's fucking not working. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right. So I can fit like cosmetics and stuff. <laughs> oh my there god! You go. That's this bag. Yeah. 
Tell me Mike, your. Mike got the same one, but he got giraffes instead of owls. Yep. <laughs> See, look. Has a change purse. Look. Fits my mod. If I want to fit some of my green fizzy water, fit that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Mike picked that it out. A, that is a full blown change purse. No. All right, here it is. <clears throat> Yeah, one of those. It's called the Nick Gid Performance. Perform? It's a fucking book bag. It's not a book yes. bag. It's, it's not only got one bag. strap. Look. Yeah, it's a book bag. It's, it's you strap good. it to your back. It's adventurous. See? Oh, my God. Where'd you get that? I need one of those. <laughs> I said it. I said it. Watch. Mark's going to see it. He's going to want one. Uh I should have. We get to walk around with our masculine backpacks while yes. you walk around with your little purse. <laughs> and Mike and I, our, our matching purses fit in the bags. Yes. <laughs> so we're good. Yep. He's speaking only for himself. I ain't got one of those. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, all right, Mark. It's buffet time. Show us what you're working with, baby. Yes. All right. So, uh, dun, 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 dun. Should I do it like this? Kind of makes me look like a sellout, but uh, well, you are a sellout. Yep. We got the Inikin disposable tank. I don't know the name of it with the uh, the rudder mod. We have the Inikin gem pen. We have the Inikin EQ. We have the Inikin gala, and we have the Inikin. Whatever the hell, the ad, whatever, with the Zenith tank, I think, right? Yep. And then, to top it off, we got the Cold Steel 100 with the B -b 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 Falcon King. Complete sellout. And the, whatchamacallit that I just got. Hold on a sec. Emily Fobear, $2. Time to go to Walmart, Mark. Thank you, Emily. Um, and Juice. Uh, it's called the Anakin Go Max disposable tank, by the way. The 12 milligram boba, whatever. Not the and then we get some read of off the, the name of the product. 12 monkeys, some kind of flavor. And the very last of the Jam Monster Strawberry. That's it. Merry Christmas. Take it away. CVT. Thank you, sir. All right, what am I vaping on? I got the Inican Gala that's nice and chewed on this evening. Enjoying that. I have it rocking in red mode right now. When I take a pull, it goes red with a little LED. Ooh. I'm also vaping on the, uh, what the fuck is this called? Element Vape sent this over. The V3 Mini IPV. This little guy. Holy shit. This thing's fucking awesome. It is really awesome. Like, awesome, awesome. If people are waiting for that new product that's got some innovation in it, this is that one. Uh -huh. uh, Scott Van Stratton 999 just wanted to say thank you for designing the topside dual carbon and recurve dual. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so this little guy with the automatic squonking feature with this little replaceable RDA thing on top. Really, really cool. Enjoying the shit out of it. Um, also vaping on this guy, which is the Asmodus V3S with the... Uh, Shit, I always forget the name of this thing. K-Fun Light. The K-Fun Light. The 24. Yeah, loving that. I'm also vaping on this, which is the Topside Dual Carbon Carbon. Topside Dual Carbon Carbon. With the uh, Recurve Dual on top with the Grandfather. And e-liquids this evening. I got some of this Mr. Maltz Flurries. Look at that shit. Mr. Maltz Flurries. Enjoying that. It actually is not zero milligrams. We had eight, added a Nick shot in there. Wow, that's very child appealing. Good job, Brian. <laughs> Thanks for calling that out, Mark. Uh, <laughs> I actually bought that with my own money. Uh, Venus Vanilla Custard, loving that. And I'm vaping that in a little pot action this evening. I'm actually vaping that in the IPV at 18 milligrams, and it's working really good. We're going to talk about that in a little bit, Mike. Definitely going to talk about that. Are we uh, going to talk about that? We're going to talk about that. I'm also finishing up this honey gram milk. Is this child appealing, Mark? Torch, torch, okay. torch, torch. I don't understand that, but all right. That's the stuff you bought out here, right? Yep. Is that child appealing? Uh, very. Well, it's fucking delicious. So I'm enjoying that. I also got a fresh batch of the Hit That Donut Boston Cream. Thank you, Mike, for the extra bottle. Word. Appreciate Thank the you. shit out of that. 
And uh, that's it. Take it away, Mikey motherfucking vapes, after you take a sip of your coffee. Ah, good evening. Good evening. I'm vaping on the Adapt Anakin. Liquid inside there, we have some Venus, Paradon Venus in there. Uh, what else, Mikey? You're also vaping on the, where is it? There it is. Rebirth, Tycoon Pilock V2. I think I have apple pie in here. Yes. Got windowsill inside there. Apple pie. Recurve. Dual. Uh, Vindicator. Wow, I don't know why I always forget to say Vindicator. But anyway, inside there I have some uh, apple pie also. Uh, what else are you vaping on, Mike? Evo SQ. Citadel RDA. Inside here, I have uh, Baker's Sin Apple Vapor something. Sinful Muffin. That's what it is. Mm. And that, also vaping on the uh, Club Omega, Vicious Ant. Taffy Splash inside there. And as usual, Caliburns, baby. Calibrates. I'll probably be sucking on this too. Also, actually, tr- giving the battery a little charge. The IPV Mini V3. And inside this one, I have Vanilla Killer High Nick. That's it, man. Take it away, somebody. Oh, we take it away. Speaking of this, hmm. this is something that I had a feeling when I first saw it that it was going to be gimmicky and not function as good as it does. But I can tell you, once you get it set up, and it's really easy to set up, it fucking vapes brilliant. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really good. I never thought that I would want an auto-feeding setup. And I think, as you said on like two shows ago, the big big brother of this device, that the pump, the smaller pump, works so much better because it's a lot quieter, and it's not as disruptive. But you see... Is the big brother just as good as this one, or no? That's what I was going to say. You see... um, uh, why I enjoyed the Big Brother for the exception of the pump. Because now imagine you're vaping on a regular RDA and you just that liquid just automatically just doing it for you. There's no pressing or nothing. It's just constantly replacing that liquid. But the pump, the pump is loud on the bigger one. But this thing here, the pump, you're only feeling the vibration. You don't really hear the pump. Yeah, what it reminds me of is like the Xbox controllers, the haptic feedback. Yes. It, it feels just like that. Yeah. So when you go to vape less, it. A little less intense, I would think. I would say. What do you have your setup, Mark, as far as flow? Uh, 420, P2, 50, whatever the pump setting is, 50, 12 milligrams. I set it up. Mike showed me how in like two minutes. I thought it was going to be like gimmicky as hell when these guys were vaping on it. And I got it, and this thing is actually really sweet with high nick. Yeah. Especially well, that point three coil, just like the hit is nice. It kind of reminds me almost like the way the Caliburn hits, but differently. You understand? It's kind of sort of that instant hit. Yeah, it is really instant. Yeah. It has a nice amount of warmth, too. With the, I have mine set at 460, and the warmth is good. The airflow is smooth as shit. Nope. I would say the flavor is like a, a B. It's not an A. I don't think the flavor is an A. I think the flavor is an A. It all depends on what liquid you're using. I don't know if it's your everyday liquid you have in there. I'm getting more sweetness. I'm using the same liquid in here as I am here. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting more sweetness on this no. than I am on this. <laughs> My only question is, like, how long do these little... RDAs last and how much do they cost? Well, what, once again, you're dealing with the whole replacement cost and, and the juice you're using in it. Yeah. You know? Mine is still going. This is my original to point three. Oh, is it? Hold yeah, on. Let me, let, me, a shit ton. let me put on my readers and inspect what mine looks like. I've been using it for 24 hours. Hold on. This is a full review, by the way. Thank you. Dude, Thank everyone's you. got readers nowadays. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> it's the in thing, man. The, the plus 40 crowd. <laughs> <laughs> fucking purses and the readers. And, and, any younger peeps out there, this is your future, what you're looking at right now. Mine, mine is stylish. 
They're called the Iron Man. I have to actually use these when I jerk off because the porn I'm watching, there might be a dick in there. I don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you look you look pretty sophisticated. Dude, when I look through them, it's like, oh, God. Yeah. Everything is... But tell me it doesn't make reading such a pleasure. Yeah, well, if I want to get like into that fine detail of something reading or even when I'm inspecting an RDA, just to look inside everything, I just throw these on. It's like a magnifying glass for me. Um, Pittsburgh Vape Vapes Vapes says, I don't ever see an RBA for that. And I think what you're going to see, and I don't know for sure, but I would imagine that if the business for Pioneer for you is to make money off of the replacement ones of these, I would imagine that they would probably, a third-party company, would manufacture one of these and sell them by themselves. Yeah. Like a rebuildable one. You know so, what? When, I'm, when this atomizer is done, I'm going to try and see if there's a way. I'm going to maybe break the plastic just to see if the coil could be replaced and see how that plastic is put on the, the cover to see if the, if I could try and hack that somehow. Uh, someone asked if uh, the, I don't remember who it was, if this replaces the billet box or if I like this better. Oh, I love my billet box. But right now I'm using this. Um, I usually don't splurge and spend a lot of money, but when Mike, when Mike showed that off the other night, I, I made an impulse buy and I picked one up. What this? No. no. Uh, the uh, what's it called? The, the Omega, club? the Club Omega. I think is it called, or is it Omega Club? Whatever it's called, Omega Club. Omega Club, yeah. I love shit like that, like those all-in-one type devices. Yep. Hell yeah. I would. Uh, Tony B pulled the top off. Did he? Did he? Off of his. Can you just like pry it off? Probably. You're gonna end up ruining it. You're not gonna be able to vape yeah. it. Yeah, you're right. I'm not touching it. Yeah. Do you have, you don't have any spares with you, or do you, or do you? You only get no. I don't. You only get one in the box. Yeah, which sucks. That's like a huge con. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. Put yeah. two of them in there. Fourteen hundred milliamp hour for the battery, and filling it is super easy. Yeah, it is really easy. You just slide out the little thing on the bottom and just fill it. Yeah. It's sort of indented on the side here, and you just put your finger there and just fucking pull like that, and then it comes out, and then you yeah. just fill it. Might as well fill it now. I'm, yeah, I might as well. I sure hope other companies start doing this. I'll show be you guys how long it takes. Man, nice. you got to be careful, though, with the fill port, because, like, Phenom on his, he had to take his rubber seal off because there's two holes. One is for the air to escape. His was sealed. So I told him, just grab something sharp and poke through it, and he did it, and it worked. So you got to be careful with that, too. This bottle of juice is almost done. Come on, squeeze that shit. I am. They got this new fucking fill rate thing that they're making us do. Two milliliters every fucking two minutes or whatever. Uh. <laughs> you can squeeze it. And then this just slides right on there like that. And then boom. Slide it in. Back to vaping. Dude, this battery lasts a fucking shit ton of time, too. Hmm. Build quality is awesome, too. It feels compact. It almost feels like a, uh, like a Vupu type device. That real compact put together. It's not too heavy, either. Nice. So, let's talk about uh, NVE a little bit. Ooh. Mark, ha what... what did it take to get you to come to this NVE? Um, <laughs> someone to pay for my hotel. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, that's it, really. As long as it's in the States, I don't mind going. And as long as people are going that I know, like you guys are going and a few other people, I will be kind of working the Omir booth. Like, I'll probably be there for five minutes and then I'll just... Kind of, but who here I don't in mind going? You know, who, I don't mind going to him. Who here really? in chat is going? Put an X one in chat if you're going to MVE. Yeah, let's see. I know see uh, Patrick going. King is already there. He texted me this morning. He had the he was, warm the warm lotions ready. I saw. Uh huh. He said it was extremely humid down there. Well, where's he from? Oh. It's California. Yeah, that's why. There's a shit ton more humidity in the East Coast yeah. than the West Coast. 
S Dizzle's going. He said I'll be there. He's not X wanting, but he's he'll be there. Yep. We met him at the last one. It was there. Angela did kind of make me go too, so a little bit of both. S Dizzle, Steve Salty is gonna be there. Nathan Flores, Joe, Joe Chung. Chung. Nice. Oh, Carlos Codero. Carlos, oh, my shit. boy Carlos. Tony. Tommy Schmertz. Tommy's gonna be Jason there. Jason DeVito. Hitman. Nanette. And then that, yes. He's from Sacramento. Yep. Patricia King is going to be there. Patricia, yeah, Patricia King. <laughs> Carlos is driving four hours to get there. Yep. We're driving two, right? We're going to be driving. What do you think, Mike? Tomorrow, Friday, <clears throat> everyone's heading to. I'm, I'm thinking like two hours to get to your house for us. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, about that. It all depends oh. if he had traffic or not. Ooh, Blind Meat Shield's going to be there. Yes. Two hours to get to his house or how far to get to the hotel? Is it three hours? How far is the hotel from your house, Mike? About 20 minutes, half hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you guys are going straight to the hotel. Yeah, you're so. You're check in, then you're coming to me. Oh, so we're going to go back to you. The only concern I have is that it's Friday and everyone's going to be leaving work to head down to uh, Long Island for the weekend at the beaches. Are we going to be hitting traffic, you think? No. No? Not at that time when you guys are going there. No. Cool. When you guys – that's what I'm saying. I think the time that you're leaving, coming into New York, you'll be fine. You ain't going to hit that much traffic. Because yeah, we're leaving early from your house, going to the hotel. Well, you guys are leaving like at 10. Yeah. 10 in the morning. So you're beating the rush hour morning traffic. People going to work. So, Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not bringing a whole bunch of shit with me for this trip. I think I'm bringing like one mod, one RDA, maybe a mechanical mech mod, and then like a pod system. Yeah, I'm bringing... Dude, I wish mine was... Mine's not going to be arriving until Monday. I'm bringing this. Uh, probably going to bring an RTA. On a dual eighteen six fifty and Caliburns. A... Joshua Spade donated one buckaroonie. Thank you very much, Thank Joshua. You. Uh Leslie says that I'm in New York, but I'm not going. Why? Damn it. I'm disappointed because I bought my Danny Die codes on the twenty sixth. It was supposed to ship July fifth or fourth or fifth. And I haven't heard from the guy. Dude, I've been emailing you, him, and he won't reply to my emails. Yeah, that's because you ain't getting it. Yeah, and you bought the clone. You bought the Donnie. It's not a fucking clone. Yeah. We know you bought the Donnie. Don't lie. Dude, if I get fucking shafted, it's a legitimate website. Dude, it was $50. <laughs> I wish it was fucking $50. Let's be honest here. Oh, Peter Luger's for dinner. Ooh, that sounds like a plan. All right. Hit it up. Where's Phenom? PSS is treating. Thank you, PSS. Thank you. I like an aged fucking uh, ribeye. So I'm What's bringing up? two mods, a sub ohm tank, an RTA, and RDA. Is that a little overkill? Is that what Angela's packing for you? No, that's actually what I packed. She packed but, my clothes, my underwear, my socks. As long as you can fit that all in your purse, you'll be fine. With your uh, yeah. No, probably not. My purse is going to have my, my, numbers, my money. And my water bottle. Mm. But, here's, but, a, here's a, a vape question. Let's do a quick one. Hey, guys, what is your favorite DNA squonk mod from Mr. Al Vapor? Ooh. Favorite DNA squonk mod? Probably the boxer. For DNA? I like the boxers, and I like the lost vape ones. That's a hard one. I really don't have a favorite one. What was a good DNA squonker that I really enjoyed? You have the uh, the vicious ants. You have all the boxers. I'm trying to go for something that's cheaper. I think they're looking for something with cheaper price DNA. Those are a price, a little pricey. Those like five hundred dollars squonkers. <laughs> what, the vicious what? ant ones. Yeah. Uh, there wasn't. To tell you the truth, there wasn't really too many. There was the drone. The drone. The drone. Uh, the boxer mod. Boxer Squonk for for bigger batteries. Other than that, there wasn't any. 
Remember when the original DNAs came out, how many companies made mods? Dude, every company made one. There was companies that weren't even like mainstream companies putting DNAs in their products. Everything was DNAs. With yeah. this new chip, the DNA 250C, nothing. Not even H cigar. Do you think it's because the cost is too high and the market's too small? I don't know. I'm not sure. The 250C, not that great of a... I, I think a lot of people like the 250C. Yeah. But I just don't know that people find that the cost benefit ratio is worthy. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's it's expensive, man. I know I know. Just uh, Joseph Searle, two dollars. Wish I could go saving for next year to meet everyone. We can't wait to meet you too, Joseph. Oh, someone asked, "Are the boxers durable?" As advertised, yeah. This boxer, that's right here. I've used this a shit ton. Uh, every day I'm using it. Yeah, it's like brand spanking new. R real this quick before. Coating, excuse yeah. me for one sec, Mike. I want to just give a shout out because I think Batman's leaving. Much love to you, Batman. I wish you a, a quick recovery. Everyone keep Batman in your yeah, thoughts brother. and prayers. Um, we got your back, brother, and uh, I wish you a speedy recovery. You had the surgery today, right? Yeah, he yep. did. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. It was yep. Today. So he's going to be – everybody uh, reach out to Batman if, yeah, if you can. If you need anything, just contact any of us and we got it done. Yep. So uh, Where's that mod? I have a mod here. Which started kind of started off the craze, and this was a pretty good mod. The bottle sucked on it, but if you still have it and it works, all you gotta do is change the bottle. <clears throat> the lost vape. Oh yeah, yeah, buddy. Bonker. DNA. Uh, what was it DNA two hundred? I think it was a slide panel, right? Yeah. Lipo. That was one of the good ones. Bottle is garbage, but. So many bottles now, you could easily just replace this bottle. I still have the original bottle in there, that piece of junk plastic bottle. Back when the original DNAs came out, the performance and the features were so much more advanced than anything else on the market. It still works. That, like, there was so much customization and so much adjustment that you could do with those, and the temp control was so much better than everything else that it really justified the price. But if you look at, num like I look at sales numbers for products, and if you look at the amount of things that are sold in the 50 to $75 price range versus the 100 to $200 price range, they're not even in the same ballpark, yeah. like numbers wise. So it's almost, I understand why companies charge 300 to $400 for certain products because they just can't sell enough of them. Yep. Yep. But some of these chips are so good nowadays, like I don't even see the need for DNA chips. I mean, for companies to purchase the DNA chip to put in their mod. That's why. You know, they've gotten so much better, these chips. This is exactly why you don't see all these companies making with the DNA chips anymore, the way it used to be, because the chips is pretty good chips out there. I mean, look, I'll give you the perfect example. And we're not, this has nothing to do with a DNA chip. Another great chip, the Yee chip, right? I prefer the top side, uh, the Davpo chip over the Yee chip. So that goes to show you how something like the Yee chip or the DNA chip, it's not as must big have as, as before. Be. Yeah. I think the, the biggest benefit of the DNA chip is if you really want to customize shit, yeah. then yep. you'll probably benefit from it. But if you're not going to customize it, be probably better off just saving money and getting something something else. Yep. The cheaper chips have gotten so much better and there's so much more available for people. Well, exactly what Stan Riker just typed in. Yep. Uh, we just got a donation for five dollars. This is from uh JR Hine, thirty four, five bucks. Can't wait to meet everybody at the show. Even if I'm just gonna be another annoying bearded fanboy, suggestions on a dual twenty one seven hundred mod to pick up at N V E. Hmm. <clears throat> Dual twenty one seven hundred. I just had a semi dry hit on this. Did you? I wonder if it's got a liquid. Dual twenty one seven hundred. I don't vape dual twenty one seven hundred mods usually. Dual twenty one seven hundred. I don't know. Come on, Mark. I thought I had one that was good. I don't remember. Are you guys reviewing the pug or the swell? William Snow says that I, I reviewed the swell last week. Here's the swell right here. Awesome it's, mod. It's swell. Another one. This this chipset that's in his Vandy vape device. And 
and you got to think about it too with Vandy Vape, they really haven't had too many box mods. Right? The Jackaroo, yep. the Pulse mod. That's it, right? Yep. I don't think there was any other. And for them to come out and make this chip that's inside the swell, this is an awesome chipset that's in here. And that's going to be in a lot of other things too. Yeah, a lot forward. of people don't like Vandy Vape, but you got to appreciate a chip like this and what it does and the feature with the Bluetooth with your phone that it has with the app, even if you don't use it, but just having it on to where you have your mod. Let's say you, let's say you go to a store, for example, you're going to buy a, a drink and you have your mod, you leave it on a counter and you walk out, your phone's going to start beeping, letting you know, oh shit, you forgot your mod. So you can run back in the store and grab it before you jump in your car and leave and someone takes it. Or if you go to someone's house and you forget it, or if you can't find it in the house, make it beep. To find it, I think that's fucking awesome. We didn't know Noah Rivera. We didn't say that the DNA that the China chips are better than the DNA. We just said that they've gotten so much closer that Why the cost. Twist our words. Yeah, we never said they're better. More expensive is always better. But like, if you can get ninety eight percent benefit from vaping something, and the, you only get two percent more benefit, is it worth the two percent if you're not going to be into all those extra features? As far as like ramp up time, firing, the speed, the wattage, the accuracy, and things like that. The Chinese chips are excellent these days. Yep. And dual 21700. How about this, baby? I have Chinese chips yeah. that ramp up quicker than the, D- the DNA 250C. Yeah, I know the D- for people that say DNA 250C ramps up quick, it doesn't. Because I have... Yeah. Mine's uh, slow. Yeah, it's slower than a lot of the chips that I use. It seems like the older DNA chips ramp up quicker than the new one. <clears throat> Is Squid going to be at the show, do you guys know? I don't know. Not sure. I'm not sure either. But if they're at the show, this is a good 20, 21, dual 21700 mod. Yeah, another 21700, if you could still find one, is the one from Wismic made one. Uh, who else made? Did iDroid make one? I thought. Oh, here's another one. Or no, this is 2700, the Captain. It's a 2700. I think I have a dual 21700 from iDroid, which is actually a pretty good mod. Where is it? Was that the captain or no? Or was it this this one here? Oh, I this think one it was, was called. What the hell's the name of this thing? Max? No. The big one. bulge on the front? That's the one, the little potentiometer you were Zenith, Zenith or Zenith? Yes. The yeah. Potentiometer? This is an awesome mod. I remember that. 21700. And you just adjust your power turning this. That's a good mod. I have not retired my rudder. It's actually sitting right here. I have it to the side for a while while I use other stuff. Actually, no, I didn't retire because I just, it's in my buffet. What are you talking about, Bachelor? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Pay attention! Yeah. That was another Jeremy uh, Mitchell. I probably said your name wrong. The Joytech Espion Infinite, that dual 18650 from Joytech. Mark, you know which one it is because you love that mod too. Yep. That's a nice mod. That is a nice mod. Joel said the CKS Thunder is a solid dual 21700 regulated mod. CKS. That Thunder. one I never heard of. Th- Thunder. I got to look that up because that sounds familiar for some reason. <clears throat> Uh, Dane Bentley, you might be correct. Let me just double check. I don't want to give wrong information here. Thunder. Thunder. Let me see if the 21700 fits. Uh, I don't remember that one. Hmm. Actually, it says CTS Thunder is 18650. 240 watt box line. I don't know. Maybe Joel can answer. Oh, yeah. Good to see you guys again. Last surgery. Had surgery six weeks ago. Haven't been able to stay awake at night to watch. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It won't fit both batteries. It'll fit one battery in there. Second battery don't fit. This is a 2700. No shit. I thought it was a 21700. So. I mean, all they had to do was make it just a hair bigger and it would fit. Yep, it's a 2700. Uh, who was that? Dane Bentley. Thank you for correcting me there. Thank you. Yeah, Vupu does make one. Oh, yeah. Poopoo, right? Makes it? 
Yeah, mine fell apart, but they make one. There you go. I would Come say on. Omir is coming out with one, but they decided to make a pod system instead of a 21700 mod. So so if everybody wants one, contact Omir and said Mark sent you. Yeah. yeah. And at the NVE booth, make sure you tell Omir you want a 21700 rudder. Yes. <clears throat> What's it called? The whatchamacallit mod, Mark? Vaping Bachelor wants to know. It was going to be the rudder, 21700. Is this it? I think this is it. I got it right in front of me. What? I think this mod right here. Oh, that's the one where you can it has two different battery doors or no? No, there's two. Remember they made two different mods. They made one that's 2700 and they it's got oh, like that yeah, sliding. Yeah. One was a 2700, the other one was a 21700. If I'm not mistaken, the, this one here is the 21700 right here. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, there was that the Geek Vape blade also. See that? That's a twenty one seven hundred Wismec Rulo. Oh. You can probably find them if you want a twenty one seven hundred. There you go. It's not that big. It's actually whatever it is, whatever it was. It's what you call it. What else? Do I have anything else here? It's hard to remember all this shit. I told you the Geek Vape Blade was one. The Blade, the, but that, yeah, I did not like that mod. Yeah, that was this fucking... That was, it was just a tip-over mod. Yeah. That thing, yeah. It had that little edge on the bottom that was rounded. Yeah, that was so hard. Dude, look at the juice on the bottom of here. What oh. the... Oh, that's fucking... Damn, I don't know. Ugh. I'm gonna show you when you come tomorrow. You're gonna be cleaning my fucking vape cave in the morning yeah. when you get here. That shit better be fucking cleaned up by the time I get there. I'm not having that. <laughs> you are having that, dude. There was used condoms all over the floor in your room. Your dog was <laughs> gnawing on one when I walked in there. <laughs> I was like, Haley, what are you doing? Why is the vape shop more expensive online? For example, Lost Vape Ryan Q. In the vape shop, they charge fifty, but online they charge twenty five. The uh, vape shop has a rent overhead to pay employees yeah. to where online it could be some dude selling the shit out of his basement. Yep. Vape yep. shops are always going to be much more expensive. At least yep. they should be. Unless they have a solid online presence and a storefront, sometimes they can take the cost away by having that. Yep. Uh, uh, mm. If you have the money, it's always good to support your local vape shop, but if you can't afford it, just buy online. Yep. I don't know. The way things are looking with these fucking flavor bans, one second, 92% tax increase, another second. I'm telling you, whatever state you live in, if you're not paying attention and you're not reaching out to your representatives, you need to step up. You need to show up, step up, and do your part because the states are going to be there. I mean, we were talking last night about <clears throat> a lot of the, um, you know, how, how much – the federal government is going to enforce what they put out there once 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 everything comes to a head and like the states themselves what's going to happen there and I, you just need to stay involved where you are locally if you want vaping to continue yeah. you know there's a lot of stuff happening right now in the northeast united states i think massachusetts has something right now there was going to be somebody that was going to post something in chat earlier in the show and if they want to do that they can do that right now they tried something in albany for new york flavor band that got shot down I think uh, Vermont just had a tax increase. Or it got shelved. I'm not sure. I think it got shelved. Yep. The dominoes are falling, my friends. Yep. Yep. It doesn't look good, man. It doesn't look good. Plus, uh, we had uh, somebody... Uh, I mean, we could talk about it, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the guy from A Billion Lives. Oh. <laughs> Aaron uh, Bieber, whatever the hell his name is. The guy that... You don't know nicotine, the movie? Yeah. Kind of his back. Yeah, that that dude right there, he, um, he basically has been saying to people on emails that uh, the vaping community is not going to like his uh, documentary his, or his movie he's making. So he's basically, basically what it's coming down to. Remember that clip, Brian? Yep. Yeah, he's, he's going to shit all over the vaping community. He's got basically paid off. So this is the guy that everyone supported and yeah. 
he oh, he basically used the saw. Wow. At this at this stage in the game, just from watching that trailer, it doesn't look good. The only thing that I can say that the the, the, the the little glimmer of hope that I have is that this is an intentional ruse that he's doing. No, he's telling people in emails to vape to vapors that they're not gonna like this. All right then. Yeah. I was hoping that it was gonna be a ruse and it was gonna, you know, flip flop once the video once the movie was finalized, once they got all the interviews that they needed, and then it was actually gonna be, you know, a truthful telling about nicotine and the power of harm reduction and what vaporizers can do to, to lower people smoke from smoking. But I love the vape community like to death. I've been in it for many years, but man, there's always, there's so much fucking backstabbing and fucking going on in this community. It's not even funny. Yeah. You know what? I'm always helping no matter what I could do. It, it's come to the point where it's like, you know what? Fuck you all. I want yeah. help. Because you always, it's always some fucking scam, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, come on. It I'm makes done. you not want to be generous. I'm done. I'm done. Yep. I'm done. I've given so much fucking money to all this bullshit. I'm yep. done. Yep. I'm done. It's all a fucking scam. Uh, yes, we know trucking. It's about nicotine, not vaping. Thanks. But he's they're throwing vaping under the bus in that movie big time it's almost like no matter what they know what's going to happen in the very end but they're going to like kind of get as they, as much as they can until it Look, happens i think the message is going to be brought out in the movie how to, for the confusion of nicotine and tobacco because people associate nicotine with tobacco when you're, va- when you're smoking tobacco, it's different than when you're vaping nicotine, even though they both have nicotine. That's where there's going to be the clarification of that. But they're going to bring up big time the jewel epidemic, kids vaping, all that shit in this movie. So, so it's going to look, even though vaping is the better choice, it's going to make the vaping community everybody just look bad yeah and i'm not i mean the, the truth be told the guy can make a video and make a movie on anything he wants at however he wants to make it it's just that i maybe i was naive and i put my own wants and wishes into what i thought he was going to do after a billion lives movie well you uh, and a thousand other people that's yeah. yeah charlie just say he's going to be associating flavors with addiction and teen vaping well that's not necessarily what i was what I thought, yeah. Maybe I didn't look into it deep enough it when be, when yeah, all the fundraisers. Basically, what well, they're gonna be like? It's it should be strictly tobacco liquids. <clears throat> maybe from now on, when before you start supporting a, a someone or a cause, I don't know. Maybe wait. Maybe look into it more. I don't. I don't know. It just seems like everyone stabs you in the fucking back. Yeah. So Travis Langley, four ninety nine. He said the drama is why I stay quiet most of the time in this community. Vape Vermont said Vermont 92% vape tax plus 6% sales tax. It's fucking ridiculous. So is the 92% tax on liquid or on products? All like everything. Wonder. Yeah. I don't know. Because we have a crazy tax out here, but they kind of dodged it by getting rid of the nicotine and the juice and then just adding the nicotine to the juice after you buy it, which saves you a shit ton of money. And I, th- I just think, like Mike said, like, you know, uh, it's going to happen. Yep. Way to bring down the show, Brian. Good job. I'm sorry, actually, man. I'm the one I brought it down. I actually did the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I did the same thing last night on Heavy Show. <laughs> I brought up and brought down the show. So I felt like I do it here, too. Well, the movie doesn't come out until next spring, I believe, if everything goes right. So, you know. More will be revealed, I guess. But sure. from the trailer, I felt like I was watching a fucking, you know, a truth video. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Those people. Yes. They're C- campaign for tobacco free kids. Yes. They're big time in this. Yeah. That's what it felt like. So. All right. We got an agenda. Yes. That's the agenda. We do have an agenda. Gregory uh, Brown. <clears throat> thank you again. Still oh. recovering from the second knee surgery. Oh, by the way, 
he also bought a Lambo. Oh, nice. There you go, guys. There's where your money went. Money from, and bought a Lambo. With the hundred excuses. Well, it's used. Yeah, you know how much upkeep and maintenance is on a Lambo? You you know? You got one? <laughs> I have four of them. I fucking know. <laughs> Took our money shit on us. <laughs> anyway. I, I, I don't have time. a Lambo or a Ferrari, by the way. I'm just putting that out there. All I know is Brian's Ferrari will destroy fucking his Lambo. Yeah, bring it, motherfucker. And Brian paid cash for it, too. So. <laughs> and it was brand new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was the love Ferrari. I don't know if you guys know what the love means, but it means expensive as shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, huge happy birthday wishes to the Vape and Bogan. It was Sam's birthday, so shout out to you, Sam. Happy birthday. Happy birthday happy also, birthday. Michael Wittenberg, happy birthday to you. Yep. Happy uh, birthday. Happy birthday. We also have the post of the week, which everyone enjoys. The first post of the week is this beautiful one, and this is from uh, Blem DeLuna. So there we go. Oh my goodness, Jesus. That is a grown man spreading his ass cheeks when we're talking about important vaping details on a live show, and he's yes. echoing a fart. And he's wearing a UL watch. And there is shit between the crack. <laughs> yep, and he's, and he's wearing a UL watch, so there you go. The other one is a trigger post. Uh... That was also from Carlos. Carlos and Blem posted that. This is a post from uh, Barry Spath. Looks like he's got the right idea. Using the top side. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is a trigger post. Okay? That's exactly what this is. What the hell's he doing? He's filling it through the fucking 510. Uh, I, yeah, I, it's a joke, right? Or it, no? It's a trigger post. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, we also have... Um, <clears throat> If you follow Amy Relish on Instagram, she's going to do a weekly weekly giveaways of the Profile Unity. So there's this whole summer you know, photo shoot thing going on with giveaways. So if you're interested in getting in on that, follow Amy Relish on Instagram. Uh, also, Amy got super fast shipping on Hit That Juice this week. That, that's where I got the Boston Cream. So there you go. Boston Cream, Hit That Juice, Hit That Donut. It's all good. And uh, the full team is going to be hanging out at the reviewers booth at MVE. This weekend. So if you want pictures with me, they're going to cost you. Okay? Amy's setting the prices. I have no nothing to do with it, but they're $3 a piece. Uh, Mark's are $25 a piece. <laughs> and uh, he's going to be doing bulks at the Omir booth. So for anyone interested, yeah. you can go up to him say, bulk me. And as the picture's being taken, he will rip each shirt off. And he, he's bringing 150 shirts. So the first 150 people he's bulking at the Omir booth. Yes. I'll be paying people to take pictures with me. <laughs> yep. Uh, Mark's also going to be doing a giveaway for that shit-smelling microphone that he has in front of him. He's bringing that. Here we go, right there. It's yep. got fucking stains on it and everything. It's got splatter all over it. Still smells like shit from last week. Yep. Mm. And it's about that time. We got some giveaways tonight. We have a lot of giveaways tonight. Are you ready, Mark? Are your fingers ready? I'm ready. We got a lot of giveaways. I'm waiting for X1s first. Accelerator now. Look the way the chat stopped. Now it's just gonna fucking erupt. It's like a it's like an avalanche of X ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I gotta pay that Lambo bill. Mm-hmm. X ones, X ones, X ones. There we are. Boom. There we go with the X ones. Wow. We have so many giveaways tonight. You're gonna to want to get those X ones rolling. We are giving away. What are we? How are we doing this giveaway? I, I went upstairs to grab something before the show started. Did we decide? Nope. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. I think. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, we're doing. Uh, uh, la, 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 la. We're doing wor- check. This is check. check boys. Yeah, we're doing a worldwide, worldwide. check giveaway. This is global. And we're giving away five Inakin EQ kits, and we're giving away five Galapod kits. So, like, if you're in the in the market for a Gala, we're giving away five of these, and we're also giving away five of the EQ kits. From and Inakin will be shipping them directly from uh, their location to anybody in the world. So, so if you win this, because we're going to be picking off ten, and it's going to take a long time because Mark doesn't—he just fucks around the whole time. It's going to be. Amy Relish, COO at gmail.com, and you need to contact her and say Inakin giveaway, and you need to say what you won. So if you win the EQ, say Inakin EQ giveaway, and if you win the Gala, you need to say Inakin Gala giveaway. 
and be clear in that because she's going to pick whatever she wants if you don't. And don't not. put your address in the first email. Send it in the second or third email. Oh, don't no, listen to no, Mark. no, don't listen to Mark. You want to send, you want to send <laughs> everything in one email. You know, Amy has a life outside of here. She's actually in the bathtub. <laughs> so. And it might take a while for Amy to get back to you because her laptop's pretty slow because Brian won't get her a new one. So expect a two to four day uh, Dude, return. Dude, she just got this brand new super deluxe fucking Sony camera. <laughs> okay, she's being well taken care of. <laughs> she's got a fucking 1989 Honda Civic. What do you want? <laughs> Come on, she's got 14s on there. Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, Mark, pull up the randomizer. I'm ready. All right, first number. Oh it's going to be oh number... Oh, are you busy? My bad. <laughs> right, we, don't wanna, we don't want to interrupt you. On right, I've been enjoying this thing. First number is... Yeah, Advent. How do you say that? Anyone know? Adapt. Are we or positive? Adapt. That's how it's... Adapt. Adept? Is that a yeah. word or no? It's a word. Adept. What does it mean? It means you're adept. Oh, well, nice. Thank you. Uh, hold on. We just got a donation. <clears throat> it flew by. Red Wagon Vapes. That must be close to Skin Wagon. Red mm. Wagon Vapes. I hope Heavy isn't shipping the giveaway. What? <laughs> it's an inside joke from yesterday. Oh, is it? There we go. Here we go. All right. Let's do it, Mark. All right, Mark. Pick number 211. Oh, my God. You're serious? You yeah, always got to screw it up, right, Mark? We're going to be here all night. 211. Here we go. Oh, shit. We got a winner. Yep. Vape Vermont. Congratulations. I'm assuming you're in Vermont. Yep. If not, then I don't know. Congratulations. There we go. Vape Vermont. Congratulations. You just won the EQ, one of the EQs. And I need a pen so I can mark down how many we won. All right, Mark. Pick another one. Uh, 211? Yep. No. Fucking... Yes, 211 the whole way. 211 all the way. Here we go. Winner number two is Jop75 Ewing. There we go. JOP75 Ewing. There we go. Congratulations, Jop. Contact Amy Relish COO at gmail.com. Next. Number three, 211 is Kim C. The C stands for cat. There we go. Congratulations, Kim. I know you're thinking something else, but I wasn't thinking that. Number four. Number 211 is... Dylan Mixon. Congratulations, you dilly fuck. Number five. 211 for the last EQ is... He could do this all by himself, Mike. Holy shit, we hit, we hit it. Oh shit, it's Jop 75 Ewing again. You can't win twice, so we're you doing can't it again. Win twice. Uh, we just got a donation here, and I think he's going to be a winner soon. Four ninety nine from Tyler Rose, because oh, Mark doesn't rig it for the bribes he gets. There you go. There we go. Thank you. 211 again is... Nobody. Mr. Just Right was 212, by the way. Right. 211 is. I'm getting tired of saying is nobody. Let's do it again. 211 is. Omi Vapes. O H M I E. Congratulations. Those are the EQs. There we go. Now, remember, guys, if you're not a pod user and you win, give it to a smoker. Yep. Gift it forward. Give it to a smoker. Try and get or, a smoker to quit. Or go in the vape team group and try to sell it. No, don't, no do don't do that. I'm you fucking idiot. <laughs> Look at him wearing those shirts. Mark charges like twenty dollars more. Those cost him five bucks and he charges twenty dollars extra because he makes money off of everybody. These are some of the cheapest shirts you'll find on Teespring. Yeah, they're soaked in formaldehyde so they don't light on fire when you're fucking vaping. Your skin may turn green after wearing one because of the dye, but still Dude, each t shirt comes with a bulk ashtray. It does, and it smells like duty. Uh -huh. yep. All right, 211 again for the gala. Yep. Five galas. Here we go. 211. I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. Joseph Searly, S E A R L E. Searly. Congratulations. Congrats. I think it's Searle. 
Searle, Surly, it is what it is. 211 again it is nobody. We're doing it again. 211 is nobody. I got a feeling we're going to be at this all night, but here we go. 211 is nobody again. I just keep my mouth shut until something pops up. Yes, please. No, it's too silent. Yeah, it is too silent. Seven. Go ahead, dog work. 211 is. Holy shit, we got a 210 and 212. What? We don't have a 211! How about you pick the guy, the person that was 210 and 212 to knock out two people? We got a winner for 211. PSS. I have no wow. idea what it is for. PSS. Oh, PSS was going to treat us to Peter Luger's. Yep. There you go. Pussy smells like sauerkraut. No, Congratulations. Say, Come man. on, man. PSS is a female, by the oh, way. Is I'm sorry. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> what All a right. Tough. Are we at number three, I think, or number two, or whatever? 211. Hey. Danny D. Danny D. The D stands for... Danny D will be at NVE, so be careful what you say. Yes. Dingy. And he will fuck you up. Small boat, dingy. All right, here we go again. 211 is... How annoying is that? It's very annoying. I believe we have a Polish winner, Scott Segwick. Congratulations. <laughs> we are equal opportunity winner or giveaway, whatever. Yep. Right, is that four or five? That's four. All right, last one. 211. Let's hope it's a spanning. <clears throat> we got a winner, Paul Rogers. Wow, that is American. <laughs> Paul Rogers. Oh, you idiot. You are an idiot. Whew, that's 10 winners. I'm wore out. I'm You're, Mark's a fucking proud boy. We ain't even done yet. There's more, right? Yep, there is yep, more. We got to do a USA giveaway. USA giveaway. For Element Vape. Element Vape, yep. Yep. This is the secret squirrel giveaway. You don't know what you're going to get, but you're going to get something good. And you need to contact AmyRelishCO at gmail.com if you win the secret squirrel giveaway. Can you guarantee it's going to be something good? Yes, I can guarantee it. Can they, because, like... Mark, just pick the fucking winner, please. 211. <laughs> Thank you. 211, here we go. Jesus, if you're in low numbers, you might as well just stop watching. You ain't going to win. 211. There's a lot of Polish viewers out there that are pretty pissed off at you right now, Mark. Yep. Kindred H2? K I N D R E D H2. Kindred H2. Congratulations. In your email, you need to put uh, Element Vape Giveaway. There you go. And the email is once again? Amy Relish, C O O, at gmail.com. Now, is that O O O as in the letter or the number O O? Like well, zero? He said O O. But sometimes people will say, like, my phone number yes, is. Yes, people like you! You, Please you say, say that. You're like 1800. Yeah. And it fucks zero, it up. Zero. I say O sometimes. Yeah, of course zero, you do. Zero. zero, zero. O's are O's and zeros are zeros, Mark. I would try both O's and zeros just in case, folks. Because <laughs> you never know which one it might That's be. That's good instructions. Could be a combination of O and zero, too. Did you actually have a diploma? Uh, Somewhere. I We got it off eBay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Mark Ball went off of eBay. It's Harvard High School. So you can say he went to Harvard. I did go to Harvard actually, thank you. Yeah. Trigger emails in chat. Thank you, Barry. Thank you. Was that twenty giveaways tonight? I lost count. Patrick yes. King just called you a dummy, Mark, and he said he's gonna fuck you up tomorrow. Da, 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 da. Who did? Sorry, Easdell. We'll have to get you new speakers. He's down. Yep. Mark should have finished kindergarten. I I think actually I stopped at fifth grade. Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun. What sometimes if the cool thing about this too is if you have it in your pocket and you don't lock it and you fire it in your pocket, you feel it vibrating. It feels like your phone's got a message. I'm sorry, are you, are you pushing this? Why are you pushing this? I feel like you're pushing it on me. I'm not pushing anything on you. You're it the predator. 
Look at yours. Yours looks like an artsy fucking. Uh, what are those called? Those windows? Yeah, I don't like the mosaic. Well, it's like yeah, glass, mosaic. Like the stained glass. Yeah, yeah this mosaic one's glass. Like this one's really ugly. Yep. Which one do you have, Brian? Is it this one? I have the Saved by the Bell lightning bolt fucking WWE underpants color. I like this one, yeah. This is nice. Because I'm Saved by the Bell. That Maybe. one, this one is like a shiny uh, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. I wish it didn't have that shine. I wish it was like a matte, matted carbon fiber. This is sort of like a semi gloss, it's got a little bit of shine to it. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't. I think like it's it's a super awesome mod, really awesome mod. I think it would have been even better. Just in my opinion, if the button was right there, like I disagree. It, disagree. Yep. I like so it hold, where it is. If you hold it like this, you got to reach your finger all the way around. Yeah, Which, but you hold it like this. Hit it with your thumb. But look. No, you yeah. can switch fucking hands, Mark. It's so oh, easy. it's a lefty and a righty. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Oh, I thought yeah, they yeah. I thought they sold maybe like the left version, the right version. No, it's fucking beautiful. Oh, it is a really sweet mod. Yep. But um, take selfie holding your ID and send it to Amy Relish to prove age. There you go. There you go. Yeah, or you is... can send a picture of one of your major credit cards. I wouldn't do that. You can run that and uh, also Amy, prove your age. Amy's been on uh, a spending spree, so I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Rafaelito, Rafaelito is asking, "Hey Mike, how do you store your batteries when you buy them brand new? Do you store them fully charged?" Uh, yeah, I charge all my batteries up. I got them all ready to go, and they're brand new. As soon as I get them, I charge them. Same here. But if I mean, if you if you're buying them just to put them inside a cabinet, yeah, I wouldn't charge them then. You don't really need to charge them. But if you're going to be using them. Charge them, but I think he's storing them, so you don't need to charge them. When they're new. Also, before I forget, huge shout out and, and thank you, Savor the Vapor. Um, huge shout out to Angela Fagan because she's got to deal with Mark traveling tomorrow, and that is just a huge task to undertake. So, thank you, Angela. <clears throat> what uh, did I miss something? Why is it a huge task for her to travel with me? I feel like, bad for the people that are going to be on the plane with oh you. Oh, my I'm, God. I'm the king. You, you sit next to me, you won't have anybody else sit next to you. Dude, Mark builds up a sweat and looks and the farts. and with farts and makes himself ultra creepy just so the person that has to sit next to him on the plane doesn't sit next to him. I wear a, a Dago T under my shirt, and I take my other shirt off when I sit down so I look like a big, fat, greasy pig. People yep. walk right past me. Yep. No one sits next to me. The guy that walks past goes up to the stewardess and is like, can I get my seat moved? Yep. And then that way I get an extra seat next to me. I have to pay for it. All you got to do is just look like just disgusting. Mark, do you plan on going live at the show? Yes. I go live at the show. We're going live in the car ride. We might go live at Brian's house. Maybe live at Mike's. We're going live all yep. weekend. Uh, Scott Franklin's asking, uh, do we leave... Uh... Do you leave your charger plugged in all day long and with batteries in the charger? My chargers are always plugged in. Uh, batteries, if they're charging, I leave them charging. Like right now, this battery is ready to go. I'll take it out, put it here. These two batteries here are still charging. Uh, I got two batteries here. Are these charged? Nope, they're still charging. Now, I have a bad habit. It's not good to leave them overnight in the charger. Not. I don't think nothing will happen, but knock on wood just in case. Oops. I knocked on wood a little too hard there. But uh, <laughs> don't leave them charging. And especially, like, if you're going away for a few days, make sure you don't leave no batteries on your charger. Definitely not. Or in your mods. Yeah. We got a donation from Tyler Rose. He said, uh, $1.99. Thank you, Tyler. I'll send Amy a B-dubs gift card for an RDA. You're going to have to negotiate with Amy. Okay, so I never understood this. It's called Buffalo Wild Wings. What the hell is the reference? Like B Dubs? I don't get it. Why do people call it B Dubs? They do. That's what B Dubs is, right? That's what they call it around here. Buffalo Wild Wings. They call it B Dubs. I just don't understand. Like, uh, unless you got a place called B Dubs down there. I don't know. 
Um, Stephen Hiller, uh, Hillier said, TVC, is there anywhere I can buy matching drip tips for the carbon top side? You could try to find matching uh, drip tips on um, signature tips or... Um, where Go else? on signaturetips.com and look look at their Galaxy drip tips. Yeah. And you might you'll be able to find. I have like one Galaxy, one of the Galaxies that match. Actually, they have quite a few that match. Yeah. But as far as making carbon drip tips, I think the machining would just cost too much money and people wouldn't be willing to spend that kind of money for drip tips. I don't think so. And everyone says, well, you know, the little piece that comes with it, this piece is just excess. It would it would have been pricey to, to actually have these made into drip tips. I'm trying to find so, what else my Galaxy. We did think about it, though, I promise you. Yeah. Here's one of the Galaxy drip tips. I still don't understand what you guys are saying. Like one of the That's styles. okay, Mark. Just relax. That yeah, that, one that would match... Blue. That would match this. Yes. So that's one of the styles of the Galaxy Drip Tip. And I have another A10 somewhere here that's a Galaxy. Which I, for some reason, cannot find it right now. Uh, dubs is short for W, Mark. Like mm -hmm. W, you say dubs. <clears throat> I have never heard it in my life. W, two Ws. See that one? <clears throat> that's the another one. The galaxy drifted that also matches the blue one so there's different colors they make a whole bunch of colors they even got ones with a hint of purple in there hints of red that matches the purple one the red one they even have like a black with the white swirls like that which will match the white one uh thank you very much n33 lo a dub is a oh no no um matt m a dub is a dime bag like i don't get the whole <coughs> w thing by the way, if people really want these in drip tips, if you contact, send a Dapo an email message and ask for it. If enough people do it, they might make them. Uh, Justin, I, I tried. Not carbon fiber. You don't really need. You don't want a carbon fiber drip tip. Carbon fiber drip tips. Uh, what was it? They're not um... antimicrobial. Yeah. Uh, someone asked what charger I use. I have. I'm still using the Efest Six Bay Bluetooth. And I'm also using, which I got it right here, my other charger. This is the Falcon, the GYR Falcon or the Geyer Falcon or whatever you want to call it. The Falcon, 8 bay. Right? Yeah, 8 bay. Those are the two chargers <clears throat> I use. DC, Mark does have carbon fiber butt plugs. He has carbon fiber tearing marks on his sphincter. Yep. And this <laughs> this 6 bay, I got the 6 bay E-Fest Bluetooth charger. I've had this charger f for four years now damn four years with this charger right here speaking of chargers i use galisi thank you galisi Bing. haven't said that in a while <clears throat> mark anything you want to sell the fuck out about before we're done uh, um, no actually i don't have any uh any solid items at the moment all right, well, if you guys are at MVE this weekend in uh, Long Island, come hang out with the vape team. We're going to be chilling all weekend long, so come spend some time with us. And uh, if you come up to us, make sure you let us know who you are, because we don't know. If we've never met you before, we have no fucking clue who you are. Come up, go right in for the hug, hold it long, whisper in the ear, say who you are, make physical contact, and we're going to hug you back. We might even triple team you, you know what I mean? Because that's what we do. Don't, so. don't walk up and say your name. Don't say, hey, man, it's Dave. And like... Who the fuck is Dave? And like, yeah. oh, it's me. And, you know, say your YouTube name. Yeah. If it's different from your actual name, because then we won't have a clue who the fuck you are. Yeah. Like, if your name's Mark's Helmet, say your Mark's Helmet. Exactly. If your name is fucking, uh, what was that? What was one of, the, one of the good ones? There's uh, Mark's Cataract. Yeah, Mark's Cataract's another good one. TVC's Personal Pilot. Yep. <laughs> That's another good one. I uh -huh. think they're all the same person. Yep. Uh, TVC's nerves. If you're TVC's nerves, say that. Is anyone coming to NC? I NC. don't know. Oh, yeah. North Carolina. I think that's next weekend, right? Isn't Amy going to that? See, that's exactly why Charlie goes by Charlie. Both places, exactly. There you go. Yep. Yeah, Mark's down to pound at these events, so don't be but don't be shy, don't be bashful. Just go to the John, grab him by his little hand, take him in there by his fucking T Rex arms. <laughs> <laughs> and give those T Rex arms a workout. You know what I mean? 
Uh, DC said he's going to walk up, hug Mark, and whisper in his ear, I'm hard as a rock. I wear a little security button that when things get a little crazy, I press it, and the cops come running, so. Yeah, right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We will see you same vape time, same vape channel, Thursday night, next Thursday. The vape team, 212. Yes, 212 is next week. And we'll share all of the adventures of the show this weekend. You're probably going to see us streaming live on the Vape Team Facebook group this weekend. So if you're not a, a member of the Vape Team Facebook group, do that. Also, if you enter giveaways on the show, if you uh, comment and chat and want to win, you have to subscribe to the Vape Team channel. I don't know if you guys ever realized that, but you have to be a subscriber to the Vape Team channel. Also, if you could, give a little thumbs up. You know, hit that little... Jesus, you want an awful lot. I want a lot. And I also want you... Jeez. To write in the comment section below, maybe a nice thing that you love about Mark. Why Join not? Join the group, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Anything else you need? Comment in chat or in below in the comment section your favorite part of Mark's body. What is your favorite part of his body? Comment that below. You have a lot of needs. Maybe we'll do a giveaway. Maybe we'll pick a winner. I don't know. We might. Jesus Christ. Yep. So demanding. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Twenty minute outro begins now. TVC's nerves is in chat. There we go, baby. <laughs> I think that's Lance. Thank you. That is life alert. I wear a life alert necklace. We love you. Better be wearing something tight this week, at Mark. I'm tight my, fitting, uh, Gucci shorts. Tight fitting shants. My butt cheeks hang out the bottom. Yep. <laughs> Mark's helmets in chat. He said, "I love Mark's balls." Thank you. I do too. They're kind of wet right now, but. We won't talk about that. Rick Mahoney likes Mark's neck fat. I don't have neck fat, thank you. <laughs> no one's gonna be at the NVE. Kennard. Oh, oh Kennard, nice. Yeah, he, oh, he, Kennard uh, messaged me. Hi, Kennard. Like, uh, how the hell do you people get around this city? Traffic was way worse than I imagined, lol. It's horrible. And I told him, yeah, buddy, drive it like you stole it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kennard's gonna be there. Kennard. All right. I think that's it. Some random person sent me a text message. Yo. I'm going to wrap it up. Wrap it like you. Wrap it like it's got an STD, I guess. <laughs> that